What's good YouTube man, welcome back to my channel. Today, I will be showing you guys how to make up a resume when you in high school. I want y'all, man, to go and get that job that you want. You feel me? Whether it's McDonald's, Steak and Shake, you feel me, a car wash. With this resume we finna make right now, they gonna hire you right there on the spot. When they ask you when you ready to work, you finna be like, I'm ready to work right now. It's time out. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, first things first, for people who don't know what a resume is, shit, I gotta look it up too, shit, what are you talking about? I don't know, I mean, I do know what a resume is, but just to give you a, a professional definition, let me go ahead, you know what I'm saying, look it up right now. So, according to the internet, a resume is a summary or a brief written account of personal, educational, professional qualifications and experience as, as that prepared by the applicant for a job. So. Let's just say you got an interview for a job. You're gonna wanna bring in this resume because it's gonna have everything that you've accomplished and everything that you know, you know, skills, you know, education, all of that. So you wanna bring in a resume. For one thing, you don't have to talk about anything. You know, you don't have to sit there and remember like, oh, I know how to do this and that and that. But you can just give them a resume. All right, so we are gonna act like this is my resume right here. Boom, see that? This is my paper. We're gonna act like pretend that this is a paper that says resume, right? Well, it's not gonna say resume. Your paper not gonna say resume, but just assume that, okay, this is a resume, right? So, the first thing you wanna have on your resume is your contact information. You don't wanna, you wanna have a, oh, let me, let me slow down, you know what I'm saying? I ain't talking about shit. You wanna put your cell phone number on there, and you wanna put a good email address. Now, I'm gonna need you to have a professional email address, my guy. I don't want you to have tastyblack69 at yahoo.com. That's dead. I'm gonna need you to have a cool look, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Maurice Mansion at yahoo.com. Something simple and cool, it's your name. As you can see, I have my contact information, boom. So on your resume, just make sure you put your, it ain't gotta look like this, but just make sure you have your contact information so, you know, the job, can know, like, okay, look, we want this person, we can reach them right here. Second thing you wanna put on your resume is a goal or objective. Now, don't make a stupid objective, well, I don't wanna say stupid, but don't make a, a crazy objective like, yeah, I just wanna make some money to buy me a nice car. Oh yeah, I just wanna get some money so I can buy that premium account on Tasty Blacks. I'm gonna need you to just come up with, you know, like a professional objective, maybe um, to gain relevant experience that will take me farther into, uh, I don't know, some field of study. It gotta be some, some professional, put, it, put objective, okay? So that's the second thing you wanna have on your resume. First thing, contact information. Second thing is your objective. I forgot to mention this, but when you put your contact information down and your your ob objective, make sure you put after that, your, you have your contact, your objective, you also want to put down your education. Put down the high school that you go to and put down um, when you graduated and if you haven't, then put down when you're going to graduate. Now I know that, you know, this 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 is honest resume is for people who who hasn't who haven't had job experience. So I understand your your uh, frustration, you feel me? Um, which is why making this resume, you wanna put everything that you do outside of school, like sports, extracurricular activities, maybe you're a tutor or something. Um, you know, I don't know, maybe you got a job at the hot dog stand, I don't know, just things that are not, you know, inside school, school times, I guess. So on your resume, let's just say you do sports, you wanna put that on there, you wanna put, um, basketball from let's just say whatever year you play maybe um, let's say January 2019 to May 2019 you want to put basketball but when you put your basketball under you want to list the skills that you learned when playing basketball so I'm gonna write it right here so let's just say we put basketball right from I said 119 to 519 right what skills did you learn? You learned teamwork. Uh, 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 discipline. 
Yeah, this one be not spelled right, um, but that's okay. Um, but make sure yours gonna spell right, you feel me? Make sure everything organized and it's spaced out and it look neat. So you wanna put things that you, like skill-wise, that you learn with playing basketball. Don't just put basketball, put the skills underneath what you learned playing basketball, you feel me? And that goes with any other things that you learned uh, outside of, you know, school or, you know, the activity. So let's say you're a mad tutor. What do you, what do you learn when you're tutoring? I feel like that's a skill in itself to, you know, to mentor somebody. Um, you know, uh, I don't know, just what other skills you want to put down that go with tutoring. Let's say you know how to do like other things, you know, like Photoshop or, you know, just some skill like that. You want to put that down too. You also want to put down things that jobs, when they, when they see your resume and they read it, they're going to be like, ooh, hold on. <laughs> I like that. You don't want to lie on your resume. You know, you want to put real things down that you know how to do. Like if you, if you really think you're a leader, you know, you have that ability, put that down on there. You know, maybe explain why. You feel me? Like, what makes you think you're a leader? Did you, you know, did you lead um, a group, uh, maybe recycling for your school or something? Or, you know, um, maybe you're real good with kids and I don't know, just some, just, I don't know, look up some skills or something. I don't know. I'm trying to help y'all out without really saying too much because it's, it's just hard trying to think of uh, different skills and stuff. Now, with the resume, what you want to do in, Every time you have an interview, you want to bring in a resume. Even if you fill out an online application and it says submit your resume, you want to do that too. And you also want to bring in one because sometimes they don't print it out or something like that. So I always have one with me. Anytime I have an interview, I have my resume in my hand. When I see him or her, the manager, I'll stand up, shake their hand, you know, and then give them my resume. Boom, bam, squeak, squall. Your resume should look something like this. I hope this this I hope this this is just a mock up. You know what I'm saying? It ain't really gonna look this crazy, okay? You're not really gonna have resume on top of it. You don't you don't need the you know just have your contact information, uh, an objective, um, and then just you know things activities that you do outside of school like basketball, extracurricular activities. Maybe you're a tutor. Maybe you um, I don't know you take care of kids or something or something like that. Now if you don't do anything. I'm gonna need you to get it together, my guy. I'm gonna need you. Look, I can't really help you. You don't really be doing nothing. You just go straight home after after school. <laughs> you just be chilling, playing the game or something. I'm pretty sure you can find something. You know what I'm saying? Some 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 skills that you learn from playing the game, or I don't know. You know, just being at school. So far, you know what I'm saying? Right now, this is all you can do right now. Until you get a job, then you could put that on top. People are gonna be like, okay, cool. He got you know some relevant job experience. But so far, right now, this is what you're gonna have. Okay, I done gave y'all a mock-up of what your resume should look like you know um, I'm hoping this help you guys you know um, like I said I want you guys to get the job that you want I think that's really it um, you could also add your address on there you don't have to though um, but if you want to just put your address on there with your contact information you could put that as well um, if you don't know what to do during the interview if you want to see a video like that man make sure you like this video or comment it down below so I can make a video like that. I can actually show you guys what to wear during the interview and what to do, uh, what to say. If you guys need help on that, you can always contact me, you know what I'm saying? My Instagram, my email is all down below, man. All my social media is down below, so if you want help with that, um, just let me know. I will see you guys next time with a whole another video. Deuces.